Hi guys, welcome to Auto Layout Part Two. In this episode, we will learn some few more useful constants. So I'll recommend you if you haven't seen Auto Layout Part One. So first, you should see Auto Layout Part One. Then you should see this one. Okay. So in first uh, Auto Layout Part One, we have learned top space, leading constraint, bottom space constraint, and trailing constraint. Okay. Uh, and in this part two, we will learn few more useful constraint like central uh, center vertically constraint, center horizontally constraint, fixed height constraint, and fixed width constraint. Okay, so let's start uh, with creating a Xcode project. Okay. Create. So here we go, this is our storyboard. Let's take a UI view. Okay, so let's change its color. Let's make it uh, this one, okay. So uh, I want basically two things with my current UI. Uh, what I want is uh, this green view should have uh, same width and uh, same height as it is having now on every screen size, okay. And the second thing that I want is that uh, this screen view should be at the center position on every screen size. If I'm running this app on iPad, then I should see my uh, green view at the center position. And if I'm running uh, my app on iPhone with four inch, screen, four inch screen size, I still want my green view at the center position. So, so the layout we want can easily achieve with auto layout. Okay, first let's see the preview right now without applying any constraint to our green view. So you can see in none of the screen uh, we have uh, we are having the desired layout okay so we need uh, to get the desired layout we need to apply constant on our green view okay so first thing we want is uh, this view to have the same width on every screen so we have to fix its width okay so to fix the width uh, we just have to uh, select our green view hold control and drag and drop the cursor to the green view okay and choose the width option this will apply the fixed width constraint to our green view as we can see in our size inspector the width equals 240 it means uh, the width of the green uh, view will be 240 in all screen sizes whether we are running it on ipad or we are run it, uh, running it on I, uh, iphone with a screen size of 4 inch its uh, width will be 240 okay so we also want uh, the green view to have the same height on every screen size so we can also fix the height of our green view uh, we can uh, let's uh, do it using pin option okay so here's the option width and height uh, using width we can fix the width of our green view but we have already did it so to fix the height of our green view to 128 we can just check the height um, uh, constant here and we can also edit the value here suppose we, I can make it 120 and click on add one constraint okay so uh, it's uh, applying this constraint fix the height of this green view to 120 on every screen size okay so the next so the next thing that I want with my layout is uh, I want my green view to be at the center position on every screen size okay so to achieve this I have to apply two more constraint to it uh, and that uh, and those are center horizontally in container and uh, center vertically in container okay so that uh, this green view will be always centered horizontally and vertically to the container and the con uh, in our case the container is the view controllers view okay so that uh, to apply this constraint uh, select your green view hold control and drag the cursor vertically upwards okay and choose the option center horizontally in container okay so similarly to apply uh, center vertically constraint we will select our green view hold control and drag and uh, drop the cursor horizontally okay and choose the option center vertically in container okay so this is uh, sh uh, showing you yellow warning yellow warning will be gone uh, after clicking on update frames okay so let's check out the preview so this is at the center position in uh, my iPhone with 4 inch screen size and uh, also in the center position on uh, 
iPhone or in iPad okay we can test with the other screens too so so that's it this was the objective of our episode to learn few more useful auto layout constants and as we did okay so in in our next episode we will try to implement this uh, design using auto layout okay so stay tuned and if you have learned something from this episode then you can like our video share our video and subscribe our channel okay so see you in auto layout part 3